Hello, in this screencast I very quickly want to show a feature that relates to Ctrl G. When I press Ctrl G I see a small dialog and I can use this dialog to jump to a line. So let's say I have some longer class like this. I press Ctrl G and I type 50 here and I press enter and now I'm on line 50. And this works in any other kind of file as well. So here's an HTML file and you Ctrl G and I type 20 and I press enter and I'm on the line. However, there's more to it than that and that's the tip. If I do Ctrl G, I can see it's go to line or bookmark. And you can see here Ctrl G again for a bookmark key chooser. So I do Ctrl G and you can see here that there are no active bookmark keys. Use window navigating bookmarks for key assignment. So window and then add the tools and I see bookmarks. So this is one way to get to that window. Another way is to press control period. And you can see this bookmarks window. So I pressed here control shift period. Bookmarks window opens. So let me set some bookmarks. So here is one bookmark. I, took, I toggle the bookmark with control shift M. So here is a bookmark. And I go in here somewhere and I want to make this a bookmark so if you click in it once you get a breakpoint but instead of clicking in it you can right click and do uh, bookmark toggle bookmarks so now we have two bookmarks and I can see here that there are two different views so here is one view and so you can see the HTML file is not in a project and the class is in a project so let's add another one so this hello Java class here I set a bookmark here, Control Shift M. So this one, so we have three in the bookmarks window, so three different bookmarks. We'll add another one um, in the about. So let's make this one, this line here, Control Shift M. So now we have four different ones. But if we switch to this other view, table view, you can see here that um, we can specify a name here, but also a key. So let's put here key is one, key is two. Key is three, and key is four. So now we've assigned keys to each of the bookmarks. Now, when we are somewhere and we do Control G, you can see, um, as before, we can use go to line and type in here a line number and jump to that line. But Control G now also, if we do Control G again, also lets us um, press a particular bookmark key. So I can now click on the three, and we have now jumped to the third of the uh, bookmarks, although at least the one that's been assigned to three is now the one that we are at. So I do control G and then control G again. And then um, you can either click two with the mouse or press the two on the keyboard. So control G, G the second time, and then you can jump to a bookmark from the go to line dialog that you see here. So go to line is actually combined with go to bookmark in the same dialog. That's the tip helping you to quickly jump around your code, either to lines or to bookmarks that you've set on lines.